Welcome back. In the previous part, we saw the bad ending. And so there must be something missing, right? That's our next objective. Something must be missing. Explore all the labyrinth. What you may have missed, because that's what's waiting here. If we did the witch report again, we'd see the bad ending again. Because right, at this point where we're at, just so we're fully clear on where we are, it's like you have a look at the map here, like the red exclamation has gone. We have picked up the curio down here in the chancel. Literally like I've defeated the final boss in the first part of the game. And now we need to find out what we're missing, which is down here in Narthex. It's on floor seven. It was there originally, by the way. I just chose to miss it. Because there's a green exclamation and a red exclamation that we're heading towards. We'll show you once we get that. Should have really gone the other way. I could have blasted through the wall, but I thought, no, no. Be respectful to the gardens, even though we defeated them two parts ago. I still don't feel happy about that, by the way. I still don't feel happy. Right, so I want to get to this one up here. That's where we're heading right now. And then we should be... Whoa! That was close. And he went straight into that guy. Well, I'm going to blast through the wall here. Screw it. Break it. Right, so now we're heading down. Let's go through there because we actually want to go across here. If I remember correctly. I'm trying to remember how to get into the middle bit again. Right, down here. That, did. that threw me off. That threw me off. I was like, I thought it was at the end, but no. It's still getting me the illusions. They're still getting me. Alright, so floor six. Remembering correctly. Yep, down there. How are you actually meant to get there normally? Uh, hmm. Let's see. It's like, because I want to try and save as much reinforce as I can. So try and not blast through the walls where I can avoid it. Be careful of that guy. Right, so I've gone the wrong way. I've gone the wrong way. I went down here, through here. Wait, how do you get there? Yeah, I've gone completely the wrong way. Oh, god damn it. Stand back. We'll escape. Ready for it. Completely reading the map wrong. That's that's probably probably what the um chapter for this part of this bit will be called. You know, down on the scrolly bar. Very much be like, I have an idiot, twit, or reading the map wrong, something like, Oh, you put me here! Fine. Yeah, get out of my way. Come on. Get. That's not getting, go on. I mean, you're gonna be in the way again. I wanted the door, mate. Fine. We're there, anyway. Oh, it's such a palaver. Right, so basically we want up there, look. As you can see, green exclamation, a door with a weird pattern on it, and a red exclamation here. This is what we were after. Well, a substitute was taken instead of one of my guys, and that was lucky. Ran straight into that. Right, long jump. Here we go. There's an inscription in which letters question mark carved on the door emanating with a solemn aura. Looks like there's a strong seal here. Upon closer inspection, you find there are strange, complex symbols on the door's surface. Is this the key to breaking the seal? You recite the spell the witch gave you and... Da -da -da -da. The design glows bright before zipping away. The solemn aura disappears. Seems the door's seal has been broken. Continue on exploring. Obviously we will. So what have we got though? That's the question. And I'm going to get that one. I'm here. A silver spoon! But we may as well try and explore a little bit. Well, we've got another wardrobe. You find a strangely dressed man standing there. This odd, otherworldly person notices your party's presence and starts talking to you. My, oh my. How troubling to have such little ones travel all the way here. To think you unlock the ancient witch's key. That was a secret phrase a friend gave me. I was honestly quite surprised. Huh? Me? I'm... Well, how should I put it? 
Let's just say I'm a seeker. Anyway, you there. Shiny spark in the lantern. Are you the wandering spirit I keep hearing rumors about? The strange, masked figure approaches the lantern to Phantasmagory, studying it closely. Well, honestly, yeah, this creeps me out. Hmm, but you do appear to be the real deal. I never expected to set eyes on the likes of you here of all places. But it seems to me you haven't fully realized your true powers. Have they been sealed away? Perhaps your body is... your soul's core not present in this world. All I can say is that right now you are nowhere near the full potential of your rightful powers as a highly advanced being. Now then, the curios you're collecting. You're taking the curios de art out of here with you and keeping them in Galeria Manor, hmm? The strange masked figure studies your party and seems to notice something. I see. It appears you have collected all the curios and have taken them to Galerium Manor. Right, very well then. I shall unlock your advanced powers for you. The strange, masked figure traces over the passage in a book, and you feel a mysterious power as the wandering spirit learns a fantability. This is something out of this world. It's incredible. Remember the past, present and future. Remember your presence exists today, yesterday, and tomorrow. Right. You should be well aware of it now. You are ever present and nowhere present. You exist nowhere and everywhere. You should go back to where you belong and do what needs to be done. Now go. You have no need to be here anymore, at least not for now. You might be able to make something happen. Return to the witch so that you can go back to that place. But I want to go through the door, wardrobe thing. Now go, you have no need to be here anymore, at least. Not for now. So right, despite being bewildered by all the, the strange masked figure has just said, your party leaves the area. So we're definitely coming back to that exclamation in future then. That's what's going to be happening there. Make sure we get these things while we can. Oh, that guy is, wants to fight me. Um, not here, mate. Not here. No one here, mate. Ah! I'll show you Donum. Oh, it's just I these guys. Understand. I was worried it's going to be like something really hard. Just the way it wanted to fight me. That's rare these days with how high my level is. So, what was the strange master man on about? Interesting. Very, very interesting indeed. I need to hear back how I'm doing his voice though. It's one of those things where it's like, I'm putting on a slight different cadence to my voice when I'm saying his words. Sort of something like this. But I don't know how that sounds until I hear it back. Like to me, sometimes I try and put on a voice and it still sounds like me. So it's like, oh. Well, that didn't work, you know. Sometimes, sometimes. But I was going for a different cadence on him, whether it came through or not. I'll find out when I edit it. I like how I don't really participate in the fights. I just take it as a moment to speak to you guys. It's interesting. It's interesting. I do want to get the other side, though. But seeing as we're fogged up, we should be okay. Ooh. We still need that key then. Right, let's get out of here now. Mud exit. And see how the ending changes now. I'll master this path. You will. You got a mysterious power. Maybe something might happen. Report back to the witch. Right, so what I'm going to do is it's most likely going to be the same ending for a while. So I'm going to cut to what was different. Like when it changes at any point along the ending. I imagine it's probably just the post credits though. So we'll see in just a second. So the discordance is upon us after all. Apparently. Are you prepared for what lies ahead? A watcher from the beyond. 
<laughs> so you finally come. I've been waiting a long, long time for you. No, perhaps I'm the one who's kept you waiting. Cast your gaze upward to this crimson sky. The end is upon us. The end of the world of Aluna. Aluna? Okay. An entire world ended with a single act. Anticlimactic, as such endings usually are. However, though this world is meeting its end, this is only the beginning of our struggle. This is the start of the main event, Fanti. Well, all right then. No. Perhaps I shouldn't call you that now. A watcher? Valima, the Ashen Knight. Oh, we still get to see that. Oh, oh thanks. Thanks. Well, there we go. Fin de l'Etude. Well, I'm back here on the start screen once again. And it's very much a case of like, this has changed. We got the light beams coming through now. Interesting, interesting. So let's continue. So, begin the story of Galeria Labyrinth from the beginning. Yes. Yep. Part two. Labyrinth of Galeria, the Moon Society. The sky does look strange here though, doesn't it? Good evening. You've been listening to C2B Cartier Number 2 Broadcast. We bring you now to the evening news. We'll start with tomorrow's forecast for the dimensional upheaval phenomenon in the Astoria region. According to the prophecy released by the Oracle Agency, tomorrow morning will be unstable before clearing in the afternoon via a purifying ritual. Dusk to twilight will see spotty ashening progress at approximately 0.26%. This appears to remain stable from last week's figures. Quite a change in art style, I feel. Ooh. However, this status has deteriorated 1.42% from last year's figures. Overall, the UP has increased by 25.1% since its onset 17 years ago. The UP ashening phenomenon has resulted in a 60% population decline. The rapid deterioration makes it unclear if mankind will survive or not. There's a kitty. Now on to today's news. The Science Institute, named after the late Menania doctor, Lavili Ral Loboa, chairwoman of the Moon Society for 80 years, opens next month. This initiative was headed by Dr. Boa's student, the current principal director of the Moon Society, Madame Transet Forge Gilruda. It's just a weird change in the art style, it really is. The Foundation is pushing forward efforts to aid the innately talented to fill witch shortages, but the predicted global hatred of witches has... Well, there's Galeria Manor. And there's the kitty. Meow, yes indeed. 
meow. Well? Wake up. Strong opposition has arisen from anti-witch movement within the government. Legislation about witch regulations in the upper house will be... Rue! Food's ready! I'll put it away if you don't hurry up! Yeah... Yeah... Keep it down, would you? Uh, guess I fell asleep. That concludes this broadcast. Galeria General Store. <sighs> Another day with zero customers. Guess that's to be expected with all the rain. Well, her hut's down now. But how are you here in this world? I mean, we can see there's a wardrobe over there, though. Meow. Yes, yeah, meow. What's up, Noir? Did you come here to tell me it's dinner time? So we got Nachiru and Noir. But, 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 but what about Eureka? Maybe this has something to do with why she kept saying her name was Eureka. Hmm. As if. But you're just here for a free meal. Meow! Give me the food, meow! Yeah, yeah. I'll head over once I close up shop. Go on ahead and get some grub. Meow. The cat hops off the table and heads outside. <sighs> Maybe the rain doesn't have anything to do with our lack of customers. Hmm. A slender woman wearing a hood comes in. Could it be? The first customer in ages? My apologies. Are you still open? Oh, it, yeah. We're still open. Uh, welcome to the Galeria General Store. Galeria General Store, you say? You stock quite a number of antiques for a general store. Uh, yes. We were an antique store, but we struggled to keep business afloat on just that alone, so... Hence why you've become a general store. Just looking around the place here, there's a few things that are reminiscent from what we had in the manor. I mean, one of them is a puppet that you can see over there, to the right, in the window. The lady in the hood picks up an item and inspects it with keen interest. It appears you do have some items of value. The owner clearly has a sharp eye. Is the owner Eureka? <laughs> Prices are labeled on each one. But do let me know if anything catches your fancy. I'll catch you a good deal. Uh, I'll be locking up the windows and stuff, but feel free to take your time browsing. Ah, oh, this here. Where did you get this? The hooded lady picks up a small ornament. Huh? Oh, that. I think it was procured a long time ago. Sorry, I don't really remember. And this one. The hooded lady looks around before her gaze settles on a doll next to the wardrobe. Oh, uh, that's not for sale. I see. Of course not. Its mana is all a flutter. Do you know what mana is? All matter is made of mana. When that mana is bound by anima, it is granted life. It is the source of all things, the very root of magic. By any chance, are you a witch, ma'am? <laughs> no need to be so cautious. My line of work requires dabbling in some magic. It's something passed down from my predecessor. Well, enough about that. I would like this. The hooded lady hands the small ornament to Nachiro. Really? I, I mean, thank you very much. I 
I shall also buy any similar items you may happen to acquire as well. Curios, you might call them. I may even pay you double. No, far more than what's on the price tag, depending on the item. Artifacts that radiate mana are rare, you see. Far more? Who are you, ma'am? Ah, apologies for the late introduction. My name is Cecilia K. Tortellier. I'm a dealer of second-hand antiques. The hooded lady gives a business card to Natura. Miss Tortellier, you trade in junk... I mean, antiques, too? <laughs> call me Cecilia. Actually, call me Cece. Some may call it junk, yes, but my clients are rather rich. And to be quite frank, I plan to sell everything I buy here to these wealthy people to turn a profit. I apologize if that bothers you. N no, not at all. It's not like any of them would come here to buy them right off the shelves. In addition to what I said about paying more than your asking price, I will also give you 20% of the profits. What do you say? <laughs> really? You have my word. However, I need to make it absolutely clear I am only seeking the rare items that emanate mana. Yeah, I covered that much. Right! I would love to work with you. <laughs> then we have a deal. And as proof, I know, I shall give you this. A ring? Yes. It's not particularly valuable. But it does give off a faint aura of mana. So why would be we be interested in this at all? I don't remember where I acquired it myself, but I have nothing else to give you at the moment. Here you go. Natrado's mother enters the store. Rue, your dinner will get cold if you don't hurry. Mom! What are you doing here? I've been calling for you all this time, and you never showed up, so I... I... I have a customer right now, so get out of here. Oh, so it seems. My apologies, I didn't know you were here. Please, browse at your own leisure. Natural's mother leaves. Hmm. Your mother seems rather kind. Hmm? Y you think so? Yes, I do. She's the sort who puts her child's needs first. I shall excuse myself for today. We'll meet again soon. Apartment room 404. Not found. Sorry about barging in back there. It's so rare for you to have a customer who didn't have a particular request. Yeah, that's true. But don't visit the store while I'm speaking to customers, okay? I... I'm sorry. Say, Rue. Um, there's something I'd like to talk about. It's about the store. I've got things to do right now. Oh, then let's talk after dinner. Are you listening? I'm busy. I don't need anything. What do you mean? What about your dinner? I said I don't want it. Rue, you must eat properly and take your medication. Medication for what? Natural's room. Okay, let's get started. I'll head up to the attic. It's been a while. Hmm. And again, you can see like a puppet being created over there on the right on the table. Secret attic. Let's see. Where is it? It's illegal to use magic without a license. But I'll be fine as long as I'm not caught. Nashiro retrieves a book of magic and the lantern to Phantasmagory. Aha! 
found it. <laughs> My trusty sidekick, Mr. Book of Magic. Huh? The owner's name is written here. Pole? Nah. <sighs> the inscription's too faded to read. Oh well. Gramps would give me an earful if I let that rich customer get away. Naturo flips through the Book of Magic. Here we go. Let's give this fancy necromancy stuff a shot. Exploring with puppet soldiers is way too inefficient. I gotta do more. But it's dangerous for me to actually go on my own. So... Necromancy. Hmm. I wonder if I can pull it off. Okay. I need a big candle and some salves. Huh? I don't just summon it out of thin air. It's different than making puppet soldiers? I'm assuming you guys are as confused as I am. Like, where's this going? The hell? This is way more work than I thought. Still, I gotta give it a shot. But it's, it's not like confused in the sense of like, I don't know what's going on, this is boring, it doesn't make sense, no. It's confused in an, an intriguing way, it's like, what are, you, what are you up to game, where are you taking me? What is this story, tell me more. First, summon the spirit into yourself. Huh? Myself? I gotta use my body as a vessel for this? The... That sounds... Unsafe. Don't steer me wrong, Pole. Next. Clear your thoughts. And apply the salve down there. Make sure to do as gently as possible. Um... Uh, oh. Yeah. Now I remember why I didn't go through with this last time. Ugh. I guess I just have to get it over with. Then, once summoned, exhale into the Lantern Day Phantasmagory and anchor it to this world. Guess this strange lantern that I found with the book must be it. Hmm. Fine. Whatever. Okay then. Here goes nothing. <sighs> Let's see. Uh, next is... Oh, hazy spirit. Wandering between many worlds... Transcend the laws of our realm as an arbitrator. In accordance with our oath, you shall reveal your true name to me. Your name is... Your name is... Vanema, <laughs> The Ashen Knight! Oh, she can't say it, though. I see. So it's... <laughs> <laughs> you can't escape now. Next, bind the wandering spirit to the lantern. So it's bound by the oath. Again, his little eye there like, Oh, here I am again. Right then. Why can't I say it? Oh, I get it. Because I took its name. Or because I picked it and you don't have the capability of saying the name as a result. Um, you're in the Lantern Day Phantasmagory, so I guess I'll call you Fanti. You know, it'd have been funny if I called it Fanti from the beginning. I bet it stops you, though. Could someone check that? Okay then, Fanti. There's something I need you to do for me. I'm gonna make you work extra hard. Oh, right. Before that, I gotta make some puppet soldiers. I'll need your help from the get-go. 
A new story has begun. You will part ways with the puppet soldiers and items you found underground for now. For now? Use the puppet parts and soul vials to create new puppet soldiers and a new witch brigade to continue your journey. You obtained five puppet parts, five small souls, five apprentice soul packs, okay, puppet soldiers, and a form a witch brigade. No. Oh. Does even say it's the general store. But we'll use this as a place to end this part then. And in the next part, we'll create our puppet soldiers and I assume head on out again. Very weird. Very weird. Very confusing. And again, confusing in a good way, not a bad way. It's like, it's intriguing because it's like, there's a lot going on. And we have so many questions as a result. I like it. I like it. But we'll see you in the next part anyway. Ta-da for now.